This could be the taxi of the future. Not the distant future, but a very close one indeed. 2024 to be precise, as manufacturers of drone or air taxis look to start rolling out their product to the general public. But with such a huge technological leap happening so soon, the question on many people's minds will be, are they safe? The head of the EU's Aviation Safety Agency says yes. My job is to make sure that uh, the only vehicles which can fly are safe. So if you see something flying, then it's safe because we will have certified it. When we say we certify it, it means that we check that it's at the same safety level as a commercial aircraft, actually. So, yes, it will. It, if, if it flies in 2024, it is because it's safe. Otherwise, it will not fly. This unmanned air taxi on show at an expo in Brussels aims to be in use by the Paris 2024 Olympics, flying people across the city in just over a year and a half. Known as the Velocity, its fully electric 18 drone rotors produce zero emissions and it's four times less noisy than a conventional helicopter, able to make journeys of around 20 kilometers. This green element fits perfectly into the European Commission's drone strategy as it looks to integrate air taxis into the EU's Smart, Green and Digital Cities initiative. The strategy aims to further develop Europe's drone market and large-scale commercial operations for multi-purpose usage. We have one of our projects, who is uh, Safia Med, which is already showing how, how important it is to deliver medical equipment, blood samples, uh, organs, whatever, from one hospital to a laboratory or to another hospital. It is safer, it is quicker, and it's more sustainable. One Europe-wide study shows that acceptance of medical deliveries by drones is well over 50%, but not quite there yet for taxi and personal services. The next question is of affordability. For now, most people would not be able to fork out for a ride in an air taxi, but Brussels and manufacturers hope to change this in the near future. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.